Hello and welcome to the 2012 U.S. Championships here in St. Louis. I'm Jennifer Shahadi and this is Mike Klein. And after five rounds, we have had some really thrilling action here. So many decisive games. At this level of competition, usually there's a lot more draws, but in particular, White has been racking up a number of wins. That's right. One of the most surprising ones was 52-year-old Gregory Kaidanov, the senior statesman in the event, winning with White against Gata Komsky, the defending champion. This ends Gata Komsky's 51-game unbeaten streak, which is the second longest in all of U.S. championship history. Kaidanov got a very big opening advantage. Uh, Gata misplayed the move order, and the past A pawn had to be blockaded by Gata's best piece, his queen, and that rendered his army pretty ineffective. Never a good sign. Now this helped pave the way for world number seven and St. Louis's own Hikaru Nakamura to take the clear lead in the U.S. Championship. He won a number of impressive games, including a beautiful dragon on the white side against Ray Robson. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Hikaru did his homework in this game. Uh, he saw that Robson had played the dragon in the Aeroflot Open copied a lot of the same moves and took an advantage to the end game. It got a little dicey, his king had to walk up to the sixth rank, but as is very often the case, a knight shield to king from queen checks very beautifully. Great game, even Kasparov remarked on Twitter that he loved this game. Hikaru Nakamura switching gears a little bit in round five against Kaidanov and playing his usual d4. Um, this was a very nice positional grind. He ended up with this beautiful breakthrough, 61 f5. Kaidanov couldn't really take with either pawn, so he had to allow Nakamura's pawn to f6. Then Hikaru got his king all the way into e7 and put Kaidanov in a beautiful zigzag. So some really impressive play by our top seed in this tournament. And that leaves him half a point ahead of his main rival, defending champion Gata Kamsky. That's right, and over in the women's event, Irina Zenyuk is the surprise leader. She only scored two points at the 2011 U.S. Women's Championship. She already earned more than that through three rounds of play. She took a relatively equal endgame where she had knight versus bishop, and she was able to quite surprisingly ensnare Tateb Abrahamian's bishop by playing 57 g4. She walked over with her king, ensnared the bishop, and earned the point. And she's also getting a PhD in environmental science from uh, Carnegie Mellon. What's the secret to her success? I don't know how she finds the time. All the players praise her work ethic. A lot of them during the free day went to the zoo, went and did some shopping. She said she spent seven hours preparing for her game today against Irina Crush, enlisting the help of three grandmasters. And she ended up drawing that game. And that leaves us with a three-way tie for the lead in the U.S. Women's Championship. Besides Zenyuk, we have the usual suspects defending champion Anna Zatonsky and Irina Krosh. The action's only getting more heated here in St. Louis. So join us either in person at the beautiful Chess Club and Classic Center of St. Louis at one o'clock local time or at two Eastern on uschesschamps.com.